Leslie Coretti. Welcome to Wellness in the Woods. I'll be your host today and we have a lot of exciting information so let's get right to it. Today we have some special guests that are going to be at our next event and which is October the 14th. All right I don't know if you remember a couple of months ago we had Wolfgang who came all the way from Switzerland to be with us and we had a very exciting talk educational information and it was absolutely great. Well, we are going to be doing something similar to that, but we have more. Wolfgang will be here with his wife, as well as my next, my first guest of the day, uh, Angela. She is a acupuncturist and an energy healer. She's going to be there as well. So let's meet her and see a little bit about what she's up to. Thank you so much, Angela, for coming today. I mean, I am so excited to meet you and to learn more about what you do. So how did you happen to become an acupuncturist? What inspired you? Well, thank you so much for having me here. I'm so excited to share my story. And um, I became an acupuncturist because I wanted to be a doctor since I was six years old. And I went through life as an athlete and always thought, oh, I'll be a sports medicine doctor. Um, and then when I started to uh, learn pre-med and when I was in college, I was getting hurt and I was having things that were bothering me physiologically. And I would go to the doctor and nothing was really happening. So I was on this kind you mean of- mean nothing was really working. Working, <laughs> yes, yes. And I was kind of on this scary journey and yeah. I felt alone. And mm -hmm. so I started to realize that there was something else going on. There was a spirit inside of our body and there's emotions inside our body. And so true healing really does take a deeper look. And so I started to go into energy medicine and, and found out that acupuncture would be an amazing way for me to um, sort, of, sort of take off with looking at the whole body together. And so I decided to go to acupuncture in Chinese medical school. So how long have you been doing this? Well, I've had my practice for uh, over 13 years now. 13 and, years? Yes. Oh. And I'm right in Mission Viejo, so uh -huh. really close to here. Um, and I am absolutely loving it. And it, it is a place for me to thrive, as well as all the patients that come in and, and look for healing. Yes. Do you use the bionic system as well? Absolutely. I have fallen in love with the PEMF machine. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually introduced to it by Terry over here. Um, she is a wonderful, wonderful, amazing woman who is always trying to help people. And so when she introduced this to me, I thought, yes, you're right. I do absolutely need to have this, not just for myself, but for all of my patients. Yes. I mean, when you start this road towards helping other people, it just kind of gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It, it absolutely does. It's infinite. The amount of things that can actually bring light in people, in their cellular health, in their mental health, in their emotional health and physical health. It is from food to things like the PEMF mat to energy medicine like acupuncture and a lot of the emotional clearing work that we do in the office. Yes, yes, yes. So it's boundless. Ex excellent, excellent. Well, we can't wait. So will you actually be doing maybe some uh, healing uh, for the visitors, people who come to this event on October the 14th? Absolutely. I will be there and I will be there with bells and whistles to uh -huh. give people um, some sampling of what my hands can do. I do energy work with my hands. I'll be bringing um, aromatherapy as well. And oh, I do something nice. that I coined Angel's Touch. Uh -huh. And it's a way for me to do a lot of energy healing for people in different areas to help them heal. Okay, I want to be first. Okay, <laughs> you're first in <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, that is that is so wonderful. I'm so excited to to meet you today and to really 
understand some of the things which I know very well, because you know, being the president of Wellness in the Woods, we're always talking about all of these different modalities. So we are so happy to have you in our family. Thank you so much. Yes. So Terry, um, tell, tell us a little bit more about October the 14th and how it's going to go. <clears throat> October 14th is a Saturday. It's okay. going to be a great day. And we have Dr. Angela Cohn from the Angela Cohn Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Center. Mm -hmm. in Mission Viejo. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. She has a wonderful practice, wonderful office. You, I mean, people would love to see her. Oh, yes. And well, well of, that we, of course. We, we got that idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who else is going to be there? Um, we have Dr. Uh, Burton mm -hmm. that we had him last time, and mm -hmm. holistic chiropractor. Also, we have Dr. Azar. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, Wolfgang is coming. Wolfgang, as well. yeah, and, and his wife is yes. going to be. It's going to be a wonderful day. We have food also from the 19th restaurant. Yes, we're going to be lunch. At, we're going to be at the 19th restaurant, and we just need an RSVP, right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. our, our RSVP is required. Yes, and you can we can try out the PMF and. It's going to be a great day. You don't want to miss it. Right, right. It is going to be great. So um, mark your calendars, October the 14th. Uh, doors will open at 9.45, and uh, we will be having all kinds of in instructional information uh, that you really need to know. Uh, and then we'll have lunch, and then we will continue on. And I think Angela will be there uh, doing some healing as well, uh, energy healing with the angels, the angel touch. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the event starts at 10. Yeah. OK, yes, the event starts at 10, but doors will open at 9, uh, 945. Uh, that's Saturday, October the 14th. So uh, we will see you there. So if, we want, if you want to RSVP, don't forget, uh, Terry, uh, you can call what? Yeah, call uh, my number. Yes. 949-290. Nine one seven seven. Yes. So okay. RSVP is absolutely required. Right. Okay. So that's great. Two nine four nine two nine zero ninety one seventy seven. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. We look forward to this event. I look forward to this event, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you soon. All right. Thank you, Terry, for coming, and thank you for supporting uh, Wellness in the Woods and uh, just being there for us. And next year, we'll start doing our monthly health fairs, hopefully. We'll see what space we have allotted here in the village. We know space is crucial nowadays. Yes, yes. Thank you, Leslie, for yes. your wellness in the wood. Yes, thank you. OK. All right, we'll be right back. extraordinary guest with us today. Uh, his name is Thomas Livese, and he is the manager of Trident Society. I've grown to love him. Uh, he's really young, so let's find out a little bit more about him. I know for a fact that his parents uh, in the 90s lived here in the village, and as a child he was running around Laguna Woods Village. Uh, basically, he's been a Army veteran as well, and he has a few deployments under his belt. Uh, he's a super sweet guy. And so he, let's get a little bit more out of him, you know, because he doesn't like to talk a lot, but he is really, really cool. So uh, Thomas, welcome, welcome, welcome to our show today. Uh, it's been such a pleasure knowing you and being with you. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about um, your story and how it happened that you joined a Trident Society. Yeah, well, thank you for the lovely introduction. Um, I did grow up here at Mission Viejo, so me getting to actually come back to Laguna Woods and this community is, is really feels like it, kind of, it came full circle. Um, unfortunately, a couple years ago, I lost my mom in mm. 2021. Um, her and I were actually just on the phone and she called me right back, and uh, she was in the middle of having a stroke. Oh, so, no. Yeah, it was, it was not fun. But um, we got her to the hospital very fast, and uh, the doctors told us that we needed to do a, uh, an emergency surgery, which is common with the stroke. 
And so we did that three surgeries later and major complications in each one. And that was it. She was oh. gone. How so old was she then? She was 75. 75. Mm -hmm. Oh, young. Yes. She was young. Yeah. So she didn't have a plan in place, no trust, no will, no nothing. So mm -hmm. it all fell to me. And if you've never done anything like that before, it can be very confusing and very difficult. Um, I ended up going with a different company other than Trident and I got oversold and, and I mean way oversold yeah. and they under delivered terribly. So mm -hmm. it was a, it was a really terrible experience from top to bottom. Um, so when I was looking uh, last year to get out of the California insurance industry, which is terrible right now, mm -hmm. um, and I saw an opening for Trident, it really felt like it was almost meant to be. So I could help other people not have to experience what I went through. Yeah, yeah, that, you know, just starting with the stroke and three operations uh, to deal with, uh, I, I totally feel for you. I'm sorry that you had to go through that. You Unfortunately, know, many people do, but uh, I wasn't ready at 35, and um, it changed everything. Yeah, so, you know, uh, just like um, my previous guest said, you know, her husband is doing something similar to what you were doing, yes. I understand. And he's like, yeah, you need to get ready, you need to plan. So mm -hmm. when should people actually start planning? You can plan anytime. Um, sure, the majority of our members are 55 and over, hence the community. But well, obviously, it, if you're 40, you think you're going to live forever, especially 20 to 40. People don't I'm think not. they're never going to die. <laughs> yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I still am. But putting a plan in place is really important. Yeah. Um, it really does take a lot of the stress and burden off of our loved ones. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily something that we do for ourselves, although it is. It's really something that we do for our spouse or our children or whoever we leave behind. I totally agree with you, 100%. It is so important to plan ahead mm -hmm. so other people are not left with everything, you know, in their lap. When my mom, uh, my mom had Lou Gehrig's disease, so we had a tough run before oh, yeah. she passed. But she didn't do anything. I mean, it's not, she couldn't hardly do anything for years. Yeah. And, um, she would just say, well, I'm just leaving it all to you. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's very common. Yeah. And what ends up happening is a lot of families have to go through a lot of turmoil that they wouldn't have had to otherwise deal with. Yeah. Um, taking small steps in advance because, unfortunately, it comes for us all. Yeah, and it does. And talking to us isn't, uh, a lot of people look at it as a negative, like they're almost signing their death warrant or something, where in reality what you're doing is you're taking you're being proactive and doing one last awesome thing for your family. Hopefully you don't need to put it into place for years. 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 yes. years. But the point is, is when it does happen, the amount of stress that we are able to take off of your families, because one call takes care of it all, whether it's, you know, picking up the body, the cremation itself, social security, calling the VA, all the different things that we take care of, when you only have to make one phone call on the worst day of your life, that, that's what we're here for. We're yeah. here to take all the burden off the family. Yeah, that, that, is, that is so fantastic because, I mean, I know now myself how important planning is because I was left, you know, kind of like mm -hmm. you with that situation of everything in my hands and like, what do I do now? Yeah. And uh, it is so important to actually plan ahead. Yes, ma'am. You know, planning is really important. Um, so how does Trident Society, you said you had gone to another pers another company uh, and then you started working with Trident and how would you say that they are different? Do they differentiate themselves from, you know, other yeah. funeral or Yeah, so cremations? The, tri the Trident Society uh, is the largest and longest lasting um, cremation Company, company in the entire world, mm -hmm. actually, the whole world. Um, and with that, through the tens of thousands of families that we've helped, we've been able to figure this out and really hone our craft. Um, so we've put together three comprehensive plans that make it very, very simple. And the way that we differentiate ourselves from everybody else is what they typically do is a, an a la carte type of um, menu, if you will. And they get you by 
saying, okay, let's, this is a very low number that you need to pay, and they get you in the door, fully knowing that in your family's time of need, they're going to be able to add thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to people that are grieving who don't know any better. They don't know what their options are. They, they haven't talked to anybody else. They're just really sad. And they really do take advantage of, of the grief that our families are in. So we've avoided, or we've done everything we can to avoid all of that. So you have more of an all-inclusive plan. Correct. So people really don't have to worry yeah. about what's gonna happen. And, and, and actually, that's the exact reason why I took my plan out with Trident Society yes. um, a year ago, or you know, it's been a while now, but um, one of the church members, um, his wife passed away. Mm -hmm. She went to visit a daughter and she passed. He had the hardest time getting her body back to California and she was only in Arizona. Yeah. And then I was thinking to myself, oh my God, my husband travels all the time. What if he's in Europe? or New York, mm -hmm. you know, what am I gonna do? Unfortunately, we hear this all the time, uh, daily if not weekly. And the simple matter is, without talking numbers, if, if you do happen to pass away uh, outside of your home or, or at the grocery store, you're, you'll pay more to get your, or your family will pay more to get you back here than our entire plan Put total, together, yes. total. Yeah. So that's why, that's another major part of our plan that, that yeah. takes care of everything. So we take care of you no matter where you are in North, Car or North America. So if you were to move, a lot of them, if you move, your plan ends, you have to get back there. So automatically the travel goes up. But if you move, we don't even, you don't even need to notify us. We are so large, we're in every single state, and all, um, all the major cities. So if you move, no big deal, no sweat off our back. If you, if you happen to pass away because you're visiting family in Florida, that doesn't change anything either. Uh, one call still takes care takes of it care all. Takes care of it all. Yeah, <laughs> and we, it, we treat you, even if you're in Orlando at Disneyland, we would treat you the exact same, getting you back here as if, it, if you, you know, were, to, were to go right on your doorstep. Yeah. Changes nothing for us. Where yeah. for them, that's just another opportunity to get more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the that's basically the major reason that I chose uh, Trident Society personally mm -hmm. was because of that very reason. When I heard how much my friend had paid to get his wife home from Arizona, yeah, I was appalled. <laughs> it can get real. And how much real trouble mm -hmm. as well. So you know that is really good. So I I, I know. There are just so many things, but where are you located? I mean, I want people to know where you're located. Yeah, so we're actually right here, uh, right outside the community. Um, yeah, so you're right, right next to the Jersey Mites. Yeah, yeah right sure. across the street from Home Depot. Yeah. Uh, we have a small office. I'm in there five days a week, and it's very simple. Uh, all you have to do is give us a call, or you can walk through the door. Um, we can either come out to your home and make it very, very simple, uh, or you can come into the office, like I said. And if we do our jobs right, we do a small presentation, um, and we knock out a little bit of paperwork. All said and done, takes about 45 minutes. And that way, when that time does actually come, we don't have to bother your family with you know, a million questions that they probably don't know the answers to. All the stuff that goes on the death certificates, like where your mother and father lived or where they were born, and all the other things that you know, take some thought that most of our, your kids probably don't know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we try to make it's it as all done. easy as possible. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, Thomas, uh, we thank you for supporting Wellness in the Woods. And a lot of my friends and uh, people that live here in the village have been asking, well, what about this? Well, what about this? Well, what do we do? Mm -hmm. So uh, I thank you so much for coming. And we look forward to seeing you at some of our future events. I'll be at all of them. Uh, so that you can you know, be there to meet uh, some of uh, our Wellness in the Woods participants. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I had a blast at the last expo, and I'm looking forward to all the next ones. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you, Leslie. Okay, we'll be right back in one second. Welcome back. Well, we have 
so many exciting things going on in the village. It's kind of like opened up again and we are socializing and having luncheons and there are so many exciting things that we're doing. So the Healthy Living Club, we've just had our last meeting and we have decided something very important. Um, I don't know if any of you had actually have Netflix. If you do, I'm asking you to turn it on. There's a documentary right now that is running. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be on, but it's called 100 Plus. So basically in these um, blue zones, there are people that are living over 100. The majority of the people are living over 100 years old. So our goal is to create a blue zone right here in Laguna Woods. So how are we going to do this? Okay, first of all, we need to get together, we need to talk about it, we need to agree upon a way to do it. So we have decided that it's better to be on preventative care rather than medications. So as Dr. Uh, Sears said last week, we have a whole medicine cabinet in our body. So we have a gentleman who lives here. Um, his name is Shin and he has been doing all types of tele-electronic uh, work all of his life. And so what he's done is he's developed a watch, and this watch can actually, oh my goodness, <clears throat> it monitors your temperature, your heart rate, your blood, <clears throat> excuse me, your blood oxygen, um, your steps, your activity, your sleep quality as well. Um, medical alert is also possible on this. So, I mean, it's a fantastic thing because it prevents you from having something later that you didn't know about. So if you happen to have a fever, it's going to alert you and it may start beep, beep, you know, you've got a fever or your, um, vital signs or you don't have enough oxygen. I mean, all of these things are little things, but you want to catch the little things before they become big, big things. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be meeting in October. On October the 13th, uh, we'll be at Clubhouse 2 and also October the 26th uh, from 10 to 2 at Clubhouse 2. So you want to mark those dates down, October 13th and October 26th. Either one of those days, we're going to be doing introductions to our new program of the Blue Zones right here in Laguna Woods Village, and we're going to be giving everyone one of these watches so that you can monitor your own health. If you have a, a son or a daughter who lives in Florida, they have the capability of them being able to monitor it as well. Or what about your neighbor? Your neighbor is there and maybe you are concerned that if something happens, no one is there. Your neighbor can, can also monitor what's going on. So it's up to you to decide, beside yourself, who you might want to know what's going on in your body on a day-to-day -day basis. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to have a healthier, safer and happier life, lifetime. And so the results will be, you know, it'll cost you a lot less than having to go to the doctor, medical bills, medications, that if you knew in advance that you were having an issue, you could take care of it right up front. So it empowers people totally. Uh, it supports you and we will identify these issues early in early stages. So basically, come to, come to our meeting October the 12th, no, oh, I'm sorry, October the 13th from 10 to 12 at Clubhouse 2, or October the 26th from 10 to 2. We are looking forward to having new friends and sharing our stories. Um, we will have our next big meeting, and that will be October the 10th, I'm sorry, November the 10th, at Clubhouse 7, we will have a luncheon, and we will see the progress, what's going on with everyone, eat and, and enjoy each other's company. 
So uh, this is the Healthy Living Club. You can look for notices in all the clubhouses so that you can join. Uh, to join the club is only $10 uh, for the rest of this year, and you will receive this free of charge. We will help you set it up, because I know the most difficult thing that we all experience is technology and getting over that hump of how to do this or how to do that, how to work the iPad, how it works with your phone. I mean, these are like difficult things for us at our age, but we can do it together. And so we'll help you do all the setup so that you don't have to worry about it. So that is what's happening with the Healthy Living Club. We've got a big task in front of us, but this is what we want to do. Uh, for those of you who do not have Netflix, we'll probably be showing some inserts of the video of the documentary um, at one of our meetings. So this is going to be absolutely fantastic. And I am so excited. And what I'm most excited about is checking my sleep, because I'm one who sleeps kind of not that much. So I want to see how I sleep and what's going on. So I'm excited about that. Now, there are a couple of other things that are going on to keep us healthy, the Active Wellness Club. We are definitely trying to give opportunities for you to be together, to exercise, to enjoy. So we have Dr. Jared, who is still working with a group of people. Um, if you need to know anything more about the pole walking, that is going on. Um, Suze Angel is continuing to do brain body fitness classes. So if you're one of those people that actually doesn't really like to go out that much, but you can do a Zoom class or you can even you know, just have your phone and listen to her voice and do the exercises. I know for a fact that some, today there's actually one class in person, but um, I know some ladies even do the exercises in their bed, you know, just nice and cozy. So, um, these classes, they actually relieve pain, tension, and stiffness, gives you more mobility. It improves balance and falls, and it increases flexibility. So uh, it is really incredible. I have been doing these classes for many years as well. Um, so all you need to do is give Sue a call. Sue's, Sue's number is 949-677. 2424. 24. If you'd like to join one of the Zoom classes, um, I think the classes are, are still only um, $60 a month if you take the whole month. And you get not only a repeat of the class so you can listen to it again, but um, you also get an audio of the class so that you can listen to it or actually see it. So you get both things. Um, it's really fantastic. Just give Sue a call. Again, that number is 949-677-2424. And then our newest member to our group is Stacy. Uh, Stacy is doing the Eight Treasures of Qigong. And we are doing that every, let's see, Sue's on Tuesday, and Stacy is on Wednesday so that you remember, so you can do exercises either day or both days. Um, you want to keep yourself flexible and moving. Uh, Stacy's class is right behind the administration building, or actually right next to the administration building at City Park. And we're doing the eight treasures. We do a little bit of a warm up. And um, her classes are $10 per week as well, and it's about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes, 10 minutes for the, a little bit warm up and getting ready to, to do the exercises. And it's beautiful to be outside and um, doing these slow, precise movements. And believe me, with either Sue's Angel or with Stacy E, you can find definitely your own peace and ease in the movement. So with that, I hope that you do one, two, or all of the things that we are up to and join us and keep your flexibility 
and your movement, because you know the old saying, if you don't use it, you may lose it. So remember, everything that you do, do with love. I love you, and we'll see you next time.